Welcome to the first ESO live stream event. Uh, this, uh, my name is Raphael Hookman. I'm principal cello of the Edmonton Symphony. This is my collaborative artist partner here, uh, Jeremy Spurgeon. Jeremy is the uh, musical director of All Saints Anglican Cathedral, and he's played with the ESO many, many times over the last many, many years. <laughs> many, many years. And uh, so uh, we're here today to, uh, to uh, pre present to you a, a concert of cello and piano uh, favorites. Um, we're going to start with a, um, a piece by Tchaikovsky. It's a... Uh, it's a piece that uh, I love to play, and I think about uh, my old teacher, uh, the great Russian-Canadian cellist Yuli Tarovsky. I think about him a lot when I play this, uh, because he always told me that I was uh, rather sentimental when I played, and he kept telling me that. And um, uh, I asked him one time, well, well Mr. Tarovsky, what, what piece can I play where I can be sentimental? And he quickly replied, Vols Sentimental by Tchaikovsky. So. Of course. Welcome, if you're just tuning in. Uh, again, my name is Raphael Hookman. I'm principal cellist of the ESO. This is Jeremy Spurgeon, uh, musical director at All Saints Cathedral. This is uh, our live stream event. Uh, thanks to the NAC, uh, National Arts Centre, and uh, Facebook Canada for uh, uh, providing the grant uh, to make this, uh, this event possible. And thanks to the ESO Winspear for uh, bringing this uh, event to you. Uh, as well, for, live from the Winspear stage. This is uh, uh, quite an incredible experience to be here with nobody here, but everybody's there. <laughs> uh, so quite different. And uh, I just want to shout out a couple of people. Um, uh, first of all, uh, my wife and kids at home, Sam and Annie, uh, and Marion Curry Roberts, my wife, uh, they're watching. Uh, hope you're watching uh, at home. And uh, my mom is watching uh, from uh, where she lives at uh, Greater Edmonton Foundation, Kiwanis Place. And I, um, I understand they're broadcasting that in the auditorium all there. So hello to all of you as well. I uh, hope you uh, enjoy this, uh, this live stream event. Um, so 
Yeah, the next piece, uh, next two pieces we're going to play, we're going to play more Tchaikovsky. We're starting with Tchaikovsky with this program. Uh, two pieces, one is sort of slow and contemplative, uh, very uh, meditative. It's called Andante Cantabile. Uh, and the second piece is uh, more fiery, dramatic. It's called Pezzo Capriccio. So I actually played both of these pieces with the ESO in January in a concert on the Sunday Showcase series with uh, our wonderful colleague Cosette Justo Valdez conducting. It was a wonderful opportunity to, uh, to work with her in that way. Uh, so here is Andante Cantabile. That will be the substitute orchestra. That's right. Jeremy today will be uh, very much the substitute orchestra, full orchestra, full orchestra <laughs> for these pieces.
We've played two pieces already. We played the Valse Sentimentale by Tchaikovsky, uh, Andante Cantabile, also by Tchaikovsky, and we're playing a third Tchaikovsky piece now uh, called Pezzo Capriccioso.
usually we hear resounding applause after that. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we, we, try, try, we tried to uh, make a program that is uh, interspersing the lovely slow uh, cello melodies that everyone knows and loves and, uh, and some sort of faster, uh, more exciting pieces as well for a bit of variety. Um, the next piece uh, we're going to play is one of the most famous and uh, most comforting pieces. And if this is any uh, sort of... Uh, possible uh, comfort to you to hear this uh, piece. Uh, I, hope, I hope it brings that, that comfort to you. Uh, we, we hope. Um, this is uh, Camille Saint-Saëns uh, from the Carnival of the Animals. This is the Swan. So, if you're just tuning in, <laughs> again, this is a ESO live stream. Uh, I'm Raphael Hookman, principal cello of the ESO. This is Jeremy Spurgeon, musical, musical director of All Saints Anglican Cathedral. Um, we, just, we just played The Swan, one of the most beautiful, most heartfelt, popular pieces uh, for the cello. And, uh, uh, yeah, that was, that was really... I could feel the energy uh, from all of you listening and watching out there, even though none of you are actually here. <laughs> but uh, I, 
I was uh, musing to Jeremy before this concert. I said, I can tell this is a real concert. And he said, well, wh how can you tell? And I said, well, it's because I've, I felt sick to my stomach these last two days preparing for it, <laughs> which is usually how we feel preparing for a, a big concert like this. Um, it's very relaxing right now. Yeah, it's very relaxing right now. Uh, the next piece we're going to play is uh, also by Camille Saint-Saëns. It's a little bit of a late addition to the program when we started thinking about what we would play, and I, I decided I wanted to play another sort of uh, fiery, fast piece in there. So um, uh, I've chosen a piece that I haven't played since I was uh, 14 years old. Uh, so that's a long time ago. It's called Allegro Appassionato. And it's, uh, it's definitely a piece that uh, young people uh, play when they're starting to become more advanced at uh, playing the cello. And uh, to my young student, Anthony Yu, if you're watching, uh, we're going to start working on this one quite soon, actually. Uh, so <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> Almost as much fun as when I was 14, I think. <laughs> Very good. Right. 
Next piece uh, we're going to play is a piece by Edward Elgar. It's called Salut d'Amour. Uh, it's a piece that Jeremy and I have played f uh, for a few years now. We actually uh, performed a concert which we entitled Salut d'Amour. Uh, because we sort of mused about the English and French connection uh, during that time in the late, uh, late 19th century, early 20th century. A lot of composers like Elgar and Fauché and Saint-Saëns, uh, writing, writing this wonderful music at that time. And I always thought it was interesting to hear, hear this, uh, uh, this title of this piece, which is in French, Salut d'Amour, but it's by this very English composer, Edward Elgar. Um, he wrote it as an uh, anniversary present to his wife, Caris, and uh, it's, it's a very sort of comforting tune, I think, and it makes me think about people who haven't seen each other for a while, sometimes uh, maybe off abroad doing uh, something, uh, some war or something, and coming home, coming home to your, to your love, your sweetheart, and uh, it makes me think about uh, what we're facing here uh, with, with a lot of us being cut off from each other, especially if you're traveling abroad. Uh, some people have, are stuck abroad um, during this crisis. So uh, this, this piece is, uh, is for you, you folks who, who may be watching from abroad or may be cut off from one of your or some of your loved ones uh, and are waiting till the next time you can see them in person and give them a great big hug and uh, embrace them. So this is uh, Elgar's Salut d'Amour.
so we uh, we could we could we could hear you collectively sigh after that one. <laughs> I think <laughs> uh, it's very nice. Uh, so the next piece we're going to play is uh, a piece I played as a soloist with the orchestra uh, a couple times actually. It's uh, a romance or a, what's it called, Dolci Pianti, Sweet Tears uh, by Johann Strauss. And um, it's uh, a piece that's again very uh, lovely lovely cello sound, you know, cello melody, that sort of thing, and, but it also sounds a lot like a waltz, and, uh, and parts of it certainly sound like a Viennese waltz, that's where it comes from. And um, so we, we, we were thinking that, uh, you know, it, we, we've been taking all these gatherings and, and crowds and everything that we've, been, uh, we've discovered through this crisis, we've been taking a little bit of that for granted, and uh, it, it'll be nice when we can get back to just being in groups of people and feeling that energy, feeling that community uh, uh, of being at a, like maybe at a party where there's dancing or something like that. And so this, this, is, uh, this is for that, for that reason.
Sounding good. Um, so enough slow pieces uh, <laughs> for a while. Uh, and a fast one. Uh, I've been uh, I've been principal cello of this orchestra here uh, on this stage. I've had the privilege, the honor, to be principal cellist of this orchestra for the last uh, five seasons. And um, in my first season, uh, our artistic administrator Rob McAleer sent me an email, and he said, "Raphael, the orchestra would like you to perform Elfintons." Uh, next season as a soloist. And, uh, and I thought, oh boy. <laughs> it's not usually, <laughs> not usually the piece that you start learning uh, when you're 40 years old, but uh, that's what I did. So uh, I've actually performed it a couple of times with the orchestra. The Elfintons is a piece by Popper. It's a virtuoso piece uh, with, yes, it's not slow. It's not slow. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. But uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm so glad I've been able to, uh, when I was a kid, I, I knew about this piece, knew about it very much, heard some colleagues playing it and, and thought, oh, maybe I won't play that. Uh, but, uh, but thanks to Mr. Bob McAleer, <laughs> I've learned it. And, I'll play it. and now we're going to play it. So uh, this is Elfin Taunts. <laughs> to do it all myself because I couldn't find a page turner with arms two meters long. Right, there it is. <laughs> Usually there's lots of applause after that. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
There's the applause. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we're switching it back to slow pieces again. <laughs> um, so we're going to play uh, two pieces by Fo Gabriel Fauré. Uh, as we talked about, we had, we had played some French and English music before in the past. And so these are, um, the first one is called Sicilian, named for the, uh, the famous Sicilian rhythm uh, that is uh, so, um, uh, so obvious in Italian music. Uh, and uh, this is the, the French version of the Italian uh, Sicilienne by Gabriel Fauré. And the second piece we're going to play is uh, um, uh, Après un rêve, uh, After a Dream. Uh, again, it's very sort of uh, meditative, uh, uh, reflective pieces for cello, beautiful, beautiful cello sound. The Après un rêve is perhaps more, the, more dramatic than the Sicilienne. Sicilian is uh, very uh, gentle and flowing, and, uh, but uh, yeah, we, we love playing these pieces. They're different. There was applause. Oh, there was applause. Oh, good. <laughs> well, virtual applause. That's, that's very good. Very good.
<laughs> Alan, Alan is, is clapping. Oh, that's a lovely one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's quite powerful music. We're almost at the end here uh, of this event. I've got one more piece to play. And uh, I just want to, uh, I've got to read off this page here because I don't want to forget thanking everybody. <laughs> but this has been, um, uh, I'd like to thank Henri Petroff and the ESO board uh, for supporting the musicians and staff at Winspear through this crisis. Uh, it's uh, fantastic leadership and uh, what a wonderful organization this is um, to, uh, to keep supporting us through this. It's uh, not, every, not every orchestra is doing that. Uh, this one is very special. Um, it's really, really incredible uh, how, it, how it's been. So we're hoping to give back. I want to thank uh, Joyce Labriola uh, for uh, helping with this live stream. Uh, Alan there, down there, who's doing all the uh, uh, tech, technical uh, stuff. Um, Constantine uh, Corellius. Uh, for organizing all the media attention for this event. It's been uh, pretty incredible. Uh, Jeremy, of course, for being such a fantastic artistic collaborative partner. Uh, I want to thank my wife, Marin, for everything she does for me, uh, including putting together the application for this grant, and the ESO musicians, um, my wonderful colleagues, uh, who I dearly love to uh, go to work with every day, and I miss you all. I wish you were all here with me uh, on the stage performing, performing all together instead of this. Although this is nice, this is fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, check out the ESO Musicians Facebook page if you haven't done so already. Uh, and if you do like what you hear, uh, please donate to the ESO. Uh, this extraordinary organization, like I said, has uh, continued to support uh, its staff and its musicians, where some others have not, and uh, it's definitely worthy of your, of your uh, financial support and donation, if possible. So there's a there's a link in the live stream right now. You can uh, you can uh, donate to if if you uh, feel that you can if you can. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I think that's all I've got to thank. And uh, the last piece. Is, uh, is a fun one. It's uh, another piece by Popper. The, Popper was the guy who wrote The Dance of the Elves, Elfentanz. Uh, it's not quite Elfentanz, but it's got some Elfentanz oh. in it. <laughs> a little bit of that. Popper was uh, uh, the greatest cellist of his day in the late 19th, early 20th century, very early 20th century. Uh, and he wrote a lot of uh, virtuoso pieces. This one is called Hungarian Rhapsody, and it, uh, it combines a lot of uh, sort of Hungarian folk rhythms and, and um, uh, tunes along with virtuosic display and cadenza. And uh, this has been a really great fun uh, doing this, and uh, Jeremy and I are very happy to be able to do this for all of you. Uh, so here is Hungarian Rhapsody by David Popper.
is clapping. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you all very much for watching and for listening. Um, please stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you all back here at the Windspear uh, very soon, I hope. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye.